and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hey how you doing my name is ash i am a makeup lover and book lover and today we're going to be talking about my hopeful november tbr list thing so i am actually filming this before my october reading wrap up because it's about a week left of october and i wanted to kind of plan out what i wanted to read in the next month because i like doing that and um as I'm currently sitting here um, filming this on October 26th, which I think this is going up on the 27th, I have read maybe 30 books. At least 10 on my Kindle, but I've been reading a lot this month. Anyways, I have a stack plus more books, and let's just get into what I sitting down and reading that all at once because I refuse to not know what happens next. So don't have that book but definitely it's at the very top of my TBR. Going into November aside from Iron Flame my one thought process was I want to read more of the full series books that I bought and just haven't read yet. I also want to throw in some Christmas books because I think out of all like romance books I think the Christmas kind just like I just love those so much. So if you have any Christmas book recommendations, please let me know. Anyway, starting with the first series, this is actually one that I want to complete. So I have The Wicked King and The Queen of Nothing. This is book two and book three. I read The Cruel Prince back in August, I think. July or August, something like that. So I want to finish out the series. I've heard a lot of great things about The Wicked King. And I haven't heard too much about The Queen of Nothing, but I am super excited for it but like how the cruel prince ended i was so excited for these and then i just got them and haven't read them yet these are pretty small if they read like the cruel prince then it's gonna be slow at the beginning and then pick up about halfway th third of the way through something like that but um i really like holly black as an author and i'm so excited to finally finish this trilogy stepping away from a series for a moment i got this in my book of the month this is you again by kate goldback this screams fall. It's beautiful. I specifically want to read this the 1st of November. Why not? I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what this book is about, but uh, I'm excited for it. And for the next series I want to read, this is the Dreamland Billionaire series. I don't know too much about these either. I'm gonna be honest. A lot of the books I talk about, I don't know much about them other than I think they're billionaires and something about like almost Disneyland. So there's book one, The Fine Print, book two is Terms and Conditions, and book three is Final Offer. And because I didn't say it, this author's name is Lauren Asher. Quite like these. So the first one's pretty standard size. Standard size. This one's pretty big. I'm excited to start these. I love buying books that have a series, but I have a problem where I buy the entire series without knowing if I like the author's style. Have not read anything from this author. Hopefully I didn't waste any money. This is the last series I'm going to talk about and then I'll get into some single Christmas books. I'm gonna be honest. I have bought all four of these books and I have bought three books in her next series and I haven't read a single one of her books to know if I like her style. So of course the series is the Twisted Love series. If I say her name wrong, I apologize, but I believe it's pronounced Anna Wong. I could be wrong with that and I apologize. So you got book one, which is Twisted Love. Book two is Twisted Games. Book three is Twisted Hate. And book four is Twisted Lies. Again, don't know a single thing about these. The only thing I really know is people have said that they like Twisted Love the least. And then they liked Twisted Games and Twisted Lies like more, I think. I think that's what people said. I try not to listen to too much about what the books are about. I kind of like a general overview of what the book is that tells me basically like the tropes and then I'll know if I want to read it. And like I said to finish it out I am going to try to get through five Christmas stories. I will probably read more. I will say for all of these books I bought them on Book Outlet and I did not read the descriptions for any of it. So the most I can tell you is the name and who the author is. And first one is All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox. I'm a sucker for cute covers, which also means that I got another book from a different author. And it has the same name, All I Want for Christmas. And this is the author, Wendy Loggia. Two books, two different authors, same title. 
And then from Jenny Bayless, I have a season for second chances. Again, just cute, not too big. Seems like it would be a pretty quick read, but didn't mention that this book is pretty small just over 200 pages and there's a book about new year's i should probably get that so i have a new year's book and from linda urban i have talk santa to me again it's the cover i look at the covers on book outlet and then buy the book based on that and that's pretty much it and this last book is actually a collaboration between two authors. It's Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. This is a Merry Little Meet Cute, and I know that they have a second book that I believe just came out this year for this season I want to get my hands on. I know Sierra Simone is known for more of her, like, smuttier books, and I don't know anything really about Julie Murphy, but I am excited to read this. I do believe it's about two um, accountants, and they cross paths, and stuff happens all in the name of christmas now will i actually finish all these possibly will i detour and read other books very possible that's what happened a lot this month in october i basically was reading like halloween-esque books horror books and whatever and i was interspersing it with um like romantic books to get me out of halloween because I, li I like halloween i do but i don't I think I like reading horror books as much as I thought I did or as much as I used to. I used to be a big big fan of Dean Koontz and reading all his books so I do have a few more Christmas books but we'll see if I get through this little pile I will move on to other Christmas books so I want to try and finish three series get through Iron Flame and read some Christmas books and that is my plan for November. If you have any book suggestions let me know down below or if you've read any of these let me know your thoughts and like I said if you have any suggestions for Christmas Christmassy holiday ebooks doesn't have to necessarily be about Christmas I'll read about Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all that I don't care as long as it's holiday and it's happy. Uh, I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap up this video. As I'm filming it, I'm not feeling the greatest, but uh, it is what it is. I will power through, and yeah. If you would like, you can follow me on my other socials. I'm ash everywhere, and for my book accounts, I am Devouring Bookishly on TikTok and Instagram. I always forget to say this. If you like my content here, give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I know how to do YouTube, but it's also like I don't know how to do YouTube. But I need to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you are seeing this video, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!